Welcome to another episode of Guitar Chat with Attorney Stephen Rubin. I'm Attorney Stephen Rubin, a business nonprofit and tax attorney in Santa Monica, California. And as I, uh, as I prepare this uh, or deliver this episode of Guitar Chat, it is May 31st, 2020. And as I'm sure you're probably aware, there are protests going on all over the United States resulting from the uh, unconscionable manner in which George Floyd was killed by policemen in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Um, and as I often do when I'm preparing for an episode of Guitar Chat, I page through various uh, portions of prior issues of the LA Times, and I was looking at the Sunday, July 1st, 2018 art, Arts and Books section of the LA Times, um, which has this on the very front page. The main article is called Resistance with a Beat, and it has this, maybe you can see it there, Resistance with a Beat, and uh, an artist, a graphic artist, has the three guitars there with fists, at the top of the guitar necks where the headstocks would ordinarily be. And pretty much this whole edition of the arts and books section of the LA Times, once again, the July 1st, 2018 edition of the LA Times is devoted to uh, protest music, I guess is the best way to, in a phrase. Um, And it's really very interesting, and there's a lot of interesting articles in it. Of course, it's already uh, almost two years old, uh, but still a great deal of, of interesting articles. And in fact, uh, now I see that uh, you can see that it says new sounds of protest right above the, in the small writing between the, the picture and the and the uh, title of the article, New Sounds of Protest. Um, as those of you know from watching these episodes of Guitar Chat, I'm here in Santa Monica, California, and as I speak to you right now, it is my understanding that not far away from me is a uh, active protest march going on right now in the Santa Monica community. Um, so I thought, what piece of music might I play to uh, frame the day a little bit? Of course, me being a little bit old school, and uh, I thought I'd play a Beatles song that until recently I really wasn't uh, aware of the meaning behind the lyrics. Um, but um, here's what I found on the on the internet, and it's called What the Beatles Song Blackbird Was Really About. And it says that under the song Blackbird, it states it was McCartney inspired while reading a newspaper account, of course that's Paul McCartney, inspired while reading a newspaper account of U.S. race riots in mid-1968, and wrote this song as a metaphor of the struggle for the black civil rights. And it also mentions that Lennon, John Lennon takes credit for one of the lines in the song. Um, for years, certainly as a younger man, I thought it was just a beautiful song that Paul wrote. But it certainly was that and, and more. It, it was inspired by what was happening in the United States during race riots in mid-1968. So without further ado, here's a little bit of Blackbird. Mm -hmm. Blackbird singing in the dead of night and Take these broken wings and learn to fly And all your life You were only waiting for this moment to arrive With a blackbird singing in the dead of night 
Take these sunken eyes and learn to see All your life You were only waiting for this moment to Blackbird fly, blackbird fly to the deep of a dark black night. That's going to do it for this episode of Guitar Chat. See you soon.